Hi everybody, it's vlog number nine. Uh, it's the night before surgery, so just checking in, uh, let you know what's going on. I have a blog post up um, with some details about what I've been doing for prep, uh, so I'm going to include that link on the YouTube uh, post on the page, so um, if you can go read that in detail. Um, so this weekend we had an early Thanksgiving celebration and that was a lot of fun. Uh, my brother and sister-in-law and my little nephew E came uh, down from Delaware and we had a great time. It's always good to get together with family you don't see all the time. And we had beef brisket and mac and cheese and Caesar salad and some scones from this place called Foster's Market. Local people here know what, exactly what I'm talking about. These are the best scones on the face of the earth. Um, I had apple cinnamon, no, apple cinnamon and pear uh, pecan ones uh, this weekend. So we really got a treat. Those are some of our favorites. And um, so we had dinner and then we played Scattergories and had a great time and laughed and uh, sang old 80s tunes. Uh, that was embarrassing, uh, but we had a lot of fun. And today they left, so they weren't here very long, but you now it's just always good to get together, just even just for a little time, especially, you know, when you have a major surgery, you just uh, want to be able to meet and talk to people before you go under the knife. So I won't be having much of a Thanksgiving. Kate will get to watch uh, the Iron Bowl, and I'll be laid up, so I'll be hearing her screaming and cursing. So that should be fun as well, as well while I'm recovering. Anyway. Um, so I've been uh, doing this really tough regimen, getting prepared for surgery, and I'm looking forward to not having to take as many needles a day or test as often as I've been testing, but I'm going to have to do that uh, after surgery as well, simply because, um, well, you have to avoid infection, and because I'm diabetic, that's the, the actual largest risk for me is that I can get an infection. If your blood sugars are running too high, that increases the chance and likelihood that you will contract an infection. So I've been keeping my numbers really tight, and that's good. I've been combating low blood sugar episodes, which is not so good, uh, but, um, you know, that's what sugar is for, is you can have it at the ready when you need it. So um, this weekend has actually been not so bad. I haven't had, uh, I only had one episode of low blood sugar, and that's not, you know, that's pretty good. I, usually during the week I was having a lot of them. And I have to stop taking my medication, uh, some of my medications this evening. And I'm going to hydrate up like I'm supposed to. And um, not have anything after midnight, no food or drink. My surgery is scheduled for uh, early in the morning, uh, 7.15, so we're going to get uh, to the hospital, as I said, 5.45. So I'm not going to get much sleep tonight. Um, actually, I'm not nervous. I guess I might should be, I mean, because anything can happen, but uh, I've had a couple of surgeries, and you know, really, for uh, the person having surgery, it's, you know, they put the IV in, and then they put the drug in to knock you out, so you, it seems like, no oh, time has passed, and then you wake up, and it's all over, and you're groggy, and they're taking the trach out of your, uh, the tube out of your throat, so um, I'm just hoping that I recover better from the anesthesia more than anything. I haven't had great luck with anesthesia, usually post-surgery, I've had problems, um, nausea and vomiting, that kind of thing, but um, hopefully that won't happen this time because they have a good idea of my history, so uh, hopefully that won't be a problem, but I won't have much of an appetite for several days. Not that you know it really matters. I'm, I can actually stand to lose a few pounds, right? Uh, so so um, hopefully that'll be fine. Uh, I'm going to do my best. Kate has a list of people that are going to get a, an email update once I'm conscious and out of, in the clear, and if I have wireless service inside the hospital, I'll probably uh, tweet or Facebook or do something to let people know I'm around, um, but then I'll probably promptly pass out and not give a damn, so um, you won't see me posting for a while, and I have to thank all of my baristas who have been uh, very kind and stepping in when I haven't been feeling well, and I know they're going to do their best while I am not um, around to do much posting. Uh, but you know what? Things go on, and so they don't have to kick themselves and do anything much. Um, and of course, readers, feel free to contribute diaries. That's why they're there. So um, 
I expect during my recuperation to see some nicely well-written diaries that covering us uh, current events that um, need your input and hear your commentary. So uh, this is your chance. So please do contribute. Um, anyway, I don't think I have much else to to talk about other than the interesting uh, aspect of healthcare. You know, obviously this this is something that is near and dear to my heart. But uh, this this surgery was kind of amusing because uh, one they asked me to prepay my deductible, and that's the first time that that's ever happened. I actually got a phone call at work where I thought they were talk, going to ask me about my pre-op, which I hadn't gone to and was actually the following day. And instead, it was someone from the accounting department asking me, did I want to pay in installments or did I just want to pay the whole lot at once? And um, I was like, okay, that was a big come down from thinking about the whole caring, healing experience of healthcare and reminding you about the nitty gritty. So anyway, I think my deductible, because I'm fortunate enough to have health care, um, but you still have to pay a pretty large deductible, um, is over $1,000. Um, and I'm not sure what the whole surgery will cost, but I'll probably get an itemized bill. I can't wait to see an itemized bill of what, what I'm paying for, what actually what we're all paying for, because the system is broken. Um, but I, I expect, since I have not had surgery at Durham Regional, I'm not sure what to expect in terms of um, service, but I'm sure I'll have something to say about that after the fact. Um, but I'm looking forward to just relaxing, recuperating, and knowing that I'm not going to be feeling well immediately after surgery, but sometime thereafter. And my heartfelt uh, wishes for a good recovery go out to Shark Fu of Angry Black Bitch because she is having the same surgery on the same day as I am. Uh, what are the odds of that happening? And for the same reasons. I mean, fibroids are quite common, um, particularly among women of color. Uh, and uh, it's rarely talked about, obviously, most things regarding female uh, reproductive organs don't get a lot of airing out on blogs today, but um, I, I see nothing wrong with talking about it. I mean, it's no different than getting your leg, broken leg fixed or anything else. It's just a part that, you know, can have things go wrong and, you know, sometimes require surgery. So I hope that uh, she has adequate health care, good uh, doctors and surgeons, and that she is going to do well. So I wish her well also. And again, thanks to all my virtual friends and real life friends who have been so kind to say nice things about me and give me nice uh, propping up to say everything is going to be fine. And I pretty much hope it is. So it shouldn't fairly common operation, though obviously with my uh, pre-existing conditions, there are always more concerns about how things will turn out, but pretty much I'm just resigned that it'll take a little longer than the average person to recover, and, you know, just be patient with yourself, so I will try to do that and remind myself of that frequently. So, uh, good night everybody, and hopefully the next time you hear from me, I will be groggy, not looking very good, but feeling a whole lot better about, uh, what's going on with my body. So good night, take care, and see you on the other side.